Got me going crazy Ooh. Yo, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all my fellow vloggers out there. What's good? It's BMG Vlogs, and I'm back with a uh, another vlog, man. And listen, it's been a while, guys. Now, today, I'm coming in with part... Oh, part, what the fuck am I talking about? Month two of my Dread Journey update. Now, the deal is today, you know, the last time I got a fucking cut was the last time I fucking uploaded Dread Journey vlog. But, um, yeah, I believe this is month two or three. And as you can see, my shit is, is fucked up. Look at that. It's fucked. But, yeah, the reason I'm getting a cut is... Cause I'm in VA and the Ray Murd Dazed and Blazed tour is coming to um, where I am tomorrow. So you know your boys gotta look fresh for the uh, concert and um, yeah, man. And you know since since you gotta look fresh, you know you got you gotta get a cut here and there. But yeah, I'm about to log into Fortnite real quick, get my daily bonus, and save the world. And um, I'm about to I'm about to leave. Oh wait, oh wait, real quick, real quick, real quick. Just want to talk about my hair real quick. I mean, it seems like this shit is not growing, but it kind of is. I feel like I should dye it again. I low key, I low key want to go to a different, a different, um, a lighter color. But um, yeah, we'll see. Like you guys know the difference when I get a haircut. The difference between me with a like, look, look at all this shit. The difference is like night and day with me. I, I'm so <laughs> look at me, look at look at look at my like. Honestly, you know what? Just look at peep all these uh just look at look at the roots you can see how it's how it's kind of locking or how it's kind of locking already and by the way for all you new people all the people coming to these uh videos i do i kind of do my dread journey updates in a vlog style so like i've been talking a lot these are my sponges speaking of which i'm actually gonna i'm actually gonna um twist my hair after so you can see like i haven't twisted my hair in days that's what kind of looks like this but there's like a very different different look after I put my hair. It's twisted, but like it's not as refined as it would be after right after I got done twisting. So let me twist and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see you guys in the car. Alright, so here's what it looks like. Ooh, I'm fucked. Damn, I'm ugly as shit. It's also bright as fuck. But um, this is what it looks like after it's twisted. I'm, I didn't do it too vigorously or too hard or anything like that because, you know, it's just gonna get cut anyways. Ugh. I think most of you know that um, after you cut your hair, it's like kind of it's like kind of easier to sponge for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, but look at this. Uh, nice rental car here. Ugh. My car. Oof. Hold up. My car's in the shop right now, so I got a rental. Uh, but yeah, this is. Well, what the? Ugh, look at that. It's a piece of hair. I mean, that's what the sponges do sometimes. You dig? But, um, yeah, I'm gonna do my vlogs like this. I'm gonna do my dread updates like this every single time. I feel like it's more interesting to, like, talk and, you know, be walking around and actually, like, show different things with different cuts and all that instead of, instead of just sitting in one room and just talking about my hair. I like people to see the before and after of my hair because, no, really, what they say is haircuts, haircuts really do change people's lives. Look at my patchy ass beard, ugly ass pedo stash, fucked up hairline. Oh! My sides, like I can really pull up, like pull, basically twisted. Look at the, <laughs> look at that. Like this shit needs to be cut. But yeah, enough uh, rambling and uh, about before, but pre haircut hair. And let's go ahead and get to the shop, man. Yeah, I usually get a drop fade. Yeah, drop fade. Just to, that's it. And yeah, shit costs about twenty five bucks to do my lineup and all that. Yeah, I've been talking too much, but let's go ahead and get to the shop. Holy fuck, people! I, I, listen to me when I say this. <laughs> I have seen some some bad days driving but fucking hell i'm sorry i have to curse but like this is shit this shit is crazy i mean you would think that that that, that going 30 minutes down the road to get to get a haircut will, will be a, a simple fucking task no not today what, what, what day is it today fucking wednesday shit is crazy I, I, i've already had, I, i've already had the honk at two people like and, oh man this is just like i don't even i guess why like i'm gonna think about set, set my camera down so i don't like like so i can make sure that i'm looking at the road because i'm checking a little early but like fuck man 
this is this this one uh, first thing I was passing by this this university George Mason University and this motherfucking bitch just just, just comes across in the right lane swerves in try to cut me off I hate it when I hate it when you're like when 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 you they can see you're coming in hot right because you are right away. And they, they're the one that has a stoplight, the, the yellow light, so they're supposed to yield to you. No, she just fucking comes, swoops in, cuts me off, and then starts slowing down. Like, what the fuck? Like, if you're just gonna cut someone off, what, what's the point of even of even going in front of them and slowing down after you got in front of them? If you're gonna do that, like, when I do it, I, I make sure I, I speed past the person. Like, if I come and cut them off, I'm gonna keep on going straight, fast. Like, I'm just gonna accelerate, not fucking slow down. Yeah, but this shit... And then the second time, like, about five minutes ago, this, 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 this damn dude was... Goes, He's coming out of the stores, right? And there's, there's two lanes with the with the white passing line. There's two lanes, and this guy just comes in from the stores. He has to pass this whole middle yellow section. He just comes like fast as shit, and I'm coming in hot. I'm I'm like I'm I'm scared. Like if I'm breaking, I'm I'm like scared. I'm, I'm about to get into an accident. And to add his injury, this is not even my car. Like I thought I was really gonna get a hit him. So he he, he stops in the middle lane. All of a sudden, he, like he like. When he was coming, he made it seem like like, like he was gonna go all the way and, and like maybe into the extreme or right in front of me. You know, the motherfucker stops right there. So I, I stomped on my brake and I, I honked at him. Second fucking time I'm honking at someone. And just other than that, everyone else is driving so slow and cluelessly. It's fucking dumb. I turned my music, it's sounding weird. It's just, look, all I hope is that my haircut better come out well. And I just have to, I just have to, I just have to vent real quick. I had to get that out, bro. This, like this was, this was actually insane. Like I have seen some bad days. Believe me when I say that. I have seen some bad, bad, bad days of driving. But today, man, today is like on a whole nother level type bad, bad driving day. But yeah, I'm like 10 minutes away at this point. Let me just fucking get there safely and sound. And then I'll check with you guys after, after I get the full cut. Oh Lord, DMV driving, man. Shit is, it's a fucking mystery. Okay, good news. I finally made it to the shop. Let me turn on this AC. I know I said I wasn't gonna uh, check back in um, until after I got the haircut, but I just wanted, <laughs> you know, like I said, today is a bad day. As, literally, as soon as I cut off the camera, like really a minute after I cut off the camera, this motherfucking truck comes out of the, another store and blocks the whole inner, he blocks the whole drop, the block, block the whole two lanes opposite me. So I'm going this way, the people are coming that way, and he's just blocking them. And the people in my lane are trying to let him in. He's not fucking doing anything. I mean, what the hell? I thought it was only gonna get worse from there. This is a stoplight, right? And this, and this minivan is pulling out of uh, pulling out of um, over to the store, and, and the light turns green, and I don't want any trouble, so I just I just fucking let him in. And thank goodness that this guy waved. If he did not wave, then this would have been it. This would, this is this has been by far the worst day I've ever had driving. Yeah, but I'm here now. I've never been so happy to get here in my life. Yeah, all I gotta do is cross the street now, and uh, I will see you guys after I get the cut. I, I just wanted to share that story real quick. Um, I was pretty fucking pissed in the in the, uh, the last checkup, but uh, yeah, we're finally here. All right, I'll see you guys after you get the cut. Get look at this ugly face now. It's gonna change after I get out of the barbershop. Patchy ass beard, fucked up hairline, mustache, all gonna be gone. Whoo! Look at that boy. Oh, yeah. See, I've, I I I really had the best barber in the world, bro. Like. It's this guy really gets me right every time. Like I keep on saying, like I'm a different guy after I get a haircut, and this is this is living proof. I'm a, like here, here's the top. You know, he didn't want to give me a uh, a lineup, but I I had to talk him out of it. I just said no, nah, I'm getting a lineup. Sides, beard, no mustache. I told you everything. All the problems are gonna be adjusted. But yeah, here's the deal. This is a sponge I'm using, and now we're like gonna start talking hair. So this is this is a month two or three I believe, and as you guys can see, the real um, it's starting it's starting to lock at the top because I have such because I've been sponging it with small holes. If you sponge with small holes, then you're gonna get like smaller locks of like almost coils basically. Right now my hair's really dry. Like all the other videos tell you to use moisturizer or like you know gel or locking gel. I don't, I don't really trust that shit. Only use the locking gel if you're gonna do comb coils. Or you take the comb and coil your hair in gel. With using a sponge, I, don't, I, I like to use mine dry, and typically mine works the best after I get a haircut. Uh, you can see like where the hair separates. You can see these gaps, like where, for example, right here, this one right here, that come out as like one single dread, and like some of them might even like pair together. So they might be connected at the root, but they might grow to two separate strands of dreads. I mean, I, I've already had dreads before, as like most of you, or probably not everyone knows, but I used to have dreads already. Um, but I'm really contemplating whether I want a free form or not, or semi free form. Cause I, like I think I'm getting dangerously close to the length where I can almost two strand. I'm thinking about doing that, but if I do that, that's basically going against me. Um, 
uh, free, a semi-free form me. I think I'm just going to keep on going with the sponge until I can't sponge anymore. I, I don't really know if there's anything to talk about when I get home, but uh, I'm trying to think. We'll see. Oh, yeah, 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 real quick. I want to, this is, I was going to, I'm thinking about vlogging the Ray Sharmer and Blazing Days uh, uh, concert tomorrow. It's going to be a long night. <laughs> it's going to be a long night, yeah. I hope, I really don't want, I, I want to vlog it, but at the same time I don't, because there's probably a chance I might lose my tripod, and that would be just terrible if that would happen. And it's going to be like, got it. you know, it's going to be crazy, it's going to be lit. But yeah, back to my hair. See, if you pull it, like you can see, like, it's kind of like, this, 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 this strand right there is that what I'm talking about. See how it's like kind of connected at the root, but they can they can easily separate into like two different strands of dreads once they're finally done. This is my first time freeforming with this sponge. I have the twist sponge. You know, you just go. I think I did that in my last uh, uh, dread journey update. But yeah, I'm not really like I'm not really gonna like talk about how to get dreads. Cause I think we all know how to do that. Basically, let your hair grow and twist, 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 twist. Crotchet hook is that what that is that what they call it? Yeah. I mean, there's right now in this stage really not much to talk about except showing my haircuts. Um, mainly because my hair is still kind of short. I'm only in the third month. Well, my hair's been cut for like four months, but I really started twisting, like, like starting the dread journey like two months ago, three months ago. Yeah, I haven't had a haircut since the last the last video, the last dread journey I posted. But I yeah, I don't think I'm gonna update when I get home. I think this might just be it right here. Yeah. I guess uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and want to stay um, updated on the journey, make sure you subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys subscribe uh, to Big Mac Gaming, my gaming channel, my original channel, my OG channel. And make sure you like, comment, um, tell me if you're going to get dreads, and uh, like it up if you enjoy the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, Big Mac Gaming, aka BMG Vlogs. I don't have a fucking outro for this channel yet. Peace out.